Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you the worst books of 2020. So in addition to it being a pretty bad year, there was also a good collection of very bad books that I read. And most of these actually were ones that I had to read for either my own book club or other book clubs that I'm a part of for the most part and some of them I was like I was like these were gifted to me so I feel like I have to finish them um but yeah they're I feel like they're all over the place in genre there's only one in here that I DNF'd and yeah for obvious reasons yeah so without further ado let's get started so starting out I first have American Dirt and this was one of the Tales and Teacups book club picks I want to say over the summer and this was one that I heard like it was one of like Oprah's book picks and so I was like you know what this one seems like it's very interesting I feel like it will raise an important dialogue and like it has important themes in here but it just backfired so I'll link my review down below if you want to see kind of more detail about this but this essentially this book is about this mother and son whose family ends up getting slaughtered by the cartel so they are on the run and they want to flee to the United States cross the border illegally to get you know into safety and I feel like this one would raise a lot of important dialogue about you know kind of you know xenophobia and just like all those other topics about illegal immigrants and kind of shed light on their story but this book was very much stemmed in uh, stereotypical kind of racial stereotypes it was just a very kind of like soap opera-esque and it was offensive and it was just really bad and the author kind of just did a really bad job with it. I'll kind of link my, like I said, my review of this down below where I go into more detail about, about it. But like I said, it was just very offensive and just based on these stereotypes and I was not a fan of that because of that. Next would have to be the Selection series by Kira Cass. So my friend and I read this for our book club and she um, suggested reading these because she's read them before and they were just really bad. I just like, I was never really in, like I never have gotten into like The Bachelor or anything like this. So anything with like kind of like multiple dating kind of triangles going on, like I'm just not a fan of and it's just like... I don't know I didn't like it but these books just got progressively worse like the main character is just horrible she's just so selfish and like double-sided like she gets mad at the prince for doing something and then she does the exact same thing and gets surprised when the prince gets mad at her and like just the ending was just like literally just chaos like it didn't make sense they just killed off some random characters like characters would have these weird like arcs where they're just a nice person now and then it just doesn't like make sense but it was just really bad they were very quick reads which I'm appreciative of that but it was just really bad it's just not a good kind of modern day um, you can tell it's like an older kind of YA dystopian and a lot of like the themes now that have become more popular just like you know feminism and just self-respect um, weren't integrated into these ones when they were published back in the day this is one that I'm a little bit sad about and it is Behold the Dreamers and this was one for a book club with my lab mate and her friends and so essentially this one I thought would be really interesting. It talks about this family that immigrates to America from, what was it? Ethiopia I want to say and essentially it talks about their journey the husband ends up working as a chauffeur for this very rich family and it raises a lot of important themes and dialogues about the American dream immigration in the United States and although I appreciated those aspects of it and showing that the American dream is like an illusion and how people how difficult it is for people that are considered outsiders to get citizenship in the United States like having gone through that myself being a Canadian and how lucky we were because we are white and from Canada how much easier that is compared to people who don't look like Americans like that is very upsetting and I think this book did a good job at that part but I just didn't like the characters in here especially towards the end they had somewhat like they changed so much and it wasn't like a change that was believable and I just didn't like that aspect of it because they didn't feel like the same characters anymore. I know life circumstances can change that and like can change how we are but not to the point where it's like they're just not recognizable at all but I just like I said I like the themes of this book and I like the dialogue that it can you know start 
but I just didn't really like the execution and the narrative through the characters. Next up would be Crazy Rich Asians, and this is one that I was very disappointed about. I saw this movie when we were coming back from Barcelona on the plane, and I really liked it. Like I said, I do like my rom-coms that are done well, and I really loved a movie of this, but I just didn't like the book, and this is one that I'm like kind of kicking myself because I read like the first 50 pages I got the book from the library, and I was like, maybe this is not for me, and then I was like, I'm going to give it a try, and then I picked up a used copy of it, and... I was like, now I have to finish it. And yeah, I was just disappointed. Like, oh, I think the movie, in this case, the movie is better than the book. There's a lot of things in here that are very kind of offensive dialogue in terms of just, especially like when it's like the bachelor weekend and the guys are just kind of doing their thing and just the way they talk. I'm like, I don't think guys actually like talk like that. Like my brother doesn't talk like that. Like no one, no guy that I know would talk like that and it was just kind of irritating and very misogynistic and if the author didn't spend so much time talking about the like fashion and clothes that these characters were wearing the book would be like half the length so I just didn't like this one this is a case where I think I enjoy the movie more. Next is A Good Marriage by Kimberly McCrite. This is one of the book of the month picks that I ended up picking and yeah, I didn't like this one. I read her book Reconstructing Amelia a couple years ago and I did really like it was okay like it didn't blow my mind away but it was like a fun kind of thriller to like a thriller mystery to read and this one was just really boring. I just didn't really like the characters like essentially this plot is that this guy ends up getting like he comes home from a party and his wife is found completely mur like slaughtered and murdered and so everyone assumes that he was the one who killed his wife and so he ends up calling one of his longtime girlfriends who's a lawyer and he's very kind of rich and affluent so she can't say no from her work perspective and so while this is going on you get kind of see their the events leading up to this person's murder and I could guess early on who it was like I wasn't invested enough in the story to actually want to like know how it ends and yeah I was just a little disappointed there and it was just like there was like some like side storylines that they would start and then it would just kind of disappear after one point and it was just like I just wanted to read like finish it to see if I was right in guessing who like was the one who killed the, the wife but yeah like I think this is another thing too where it just has like the characters that aren't likable and I can read books where the characters aren't necessarily 100% likable but I'm invested in the like the storylines and all this and this is one where it was just like I really just want to see if I'm right. Next up is The Unspoken by Ian K. Smith and this is probably like my least favorite out of all of these on here like this one was just really bad. Um, I essentially this one it follows this former police officer who didn't want to be involved in like this cover-up for the police department and when it came about he essentially like the police department paid him off and so he's just working as a private detective in Chicago and he's approached by this very wealthy family to help find their daughter who's disappeared and it kind of goes off from there and I feel like this had everything to in it to make it like a good like introduction to a crime series it talks about you know police like the police and racism and just the unfair treatment of black people by police officers I feel like it doesn't even talk about that like there's like maybe two sentences in here that describe like what happened and that doesn't go into that more like it was just really bad like the character like the main character would say these random things that just didn't make sense with anything at all with like he would try to be like snarky and it would just like fall flat and I was like I was cringy and I'm like these people don't even exist and I'm cringy reading what this guy is saying and there was this weird like vigilante justice like narration like subplot that was just really bizarre and just unnecessary and it was just it was just really bad like so I don't recommend this one it was just not good at all like I said this is probably like my least favorite one on here next is the starless sea and I'm really disappointed that this one is on here because I did really try to get into this I think I got like 175 pages into it and it was just too bizarre this also like I started to read this over the summer and then I gave up on it and then it ended up being a book club pick for my lab mate book club and I was like I can't even read this one again like it was just it's so like abstract and out there that it just doesn't make sense 
whatsoever like it was just confusing and I'm like I don't know if I'm just like not like if my brain is too like analytical and it doesn't have that creative enough creative brain cells in there to like actually grasp what's going on like I was just confused and I'm like I didn't like the main character I thought like his like being like a graduate student and like studying video games is like the stupidest thing I've ever heard yeah it was just really bad I think the concept of it is very interesting but just kind of that execution was just it was just I couldn't wrap my head around it and I think this is a book that either people love or people hate there's nothing in between so I'm on the side that doesn't really enjoy this and lastly I have a <laughs> the last book club pick um, of the year which was we met in December and I've never really been into like rom-com story like rom-com book executions I kind of like the movie kind of sides a little bit more um, I think because I'm just a little bit more critical with my books than with movies but I was gonna give this one a shot I did like one day in December which I read after this one and this one's basically kind of like a copy of it but one day in December although I had like my nitpicky things I enjoyed that one a lot more but this one was really bad and it basically follows these two um, roommates that end up falling in love and like one guy ends up having like another girlfriend and like they don't tell each other the feelings for each other and it kind of goes off from there but they meet on their first day as roommates and she's like in love and then he ends up having a girlfriend with someone else in the thing and it was just chaotic but it literally was a like a steep slide downhill after like the the guy narration said that the girl's boobs look like perfect scoops of ice cream and I literally was laughing on the floor like for 20 minutes like that was like the stupidest thing I've ever read in a book ever and it was honestly hilarious and it just went steadily downhill after that like the writing is not very good the characters weren't very flushed out and the secondary characters were only used to progress the plot or tell the main characters what happened when they weren't there to kind of get the plot going and it was just very bad execution wise just not good all around so yeah do not recommend this one but I did have a good laugh and so every time I see ice cream this is what I will think of forevermore. So that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what some of the worst books that you read of 2020 and all of that fun stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time bye guys